I think we got a fight coming up. <laughs> I, think, I think things are about to go down with the, uh, the the angry boy. I don't remember what they said his name was. I don't even know if they said it. They, I think they did. Uh, he, he came in and he was not very happy. <laughs> But Sakura is excited because he wants the fight. So this will be fun for him, I guess. I'm assuming things are going to get cut off. It's it's not going to happen. Let's be honest. You think they're just going to sit there and watch them play? I doubt that. Uh, something's going to happen and somebody's going to interfere or somebody's going to say something or whatever's going to occur and that's not going to happen. Uh, but he is somebody that we have to keep an eye out for. But he'll make for a good story, I'm assuming, when we transition him into thinking like us a little bit more uh, and helping out. Uh, and actually having good reasons for what he does. And maybe even when we understand and learn a little bit about him, maybe he is really similar to Sakura and what he kind of is here to do and accomplish. So who knows? Uh, interesting stuff for us to look forward to, I would say. Last time we basically got introduced to a lot of the new characters and, and people that we're going to be involved with. Uh, and that was basically kind of what happened, given a little bit of info and things behind them, pretty much set up for things to come and kick the story kind of off. Uh, and you really got to lay the foundations of introducing your characters and everything first. So that's kind of where we're at right now. Uh, and I'm assuming we get more of that going through this episode too. If you guys like it all, hit the like and subscribe. Do me a lot to me. Feel free to stick around for the discussion. Let me comments with this episode or series. Let's get going with Windbreaker episode three. I forgot how tall he was. He's huge. <laughs> <laughs> Never look away. ゆいつ高校入学前から暴風林を名乗ることを許された人。ワタオ。てっぺんの狂心心。それは。That's <笑> <laughs> wow. I thought it was about to fall. <laughs> wow. My man's skilled, alright? Alright. <laughs> Cool. I feel like that's one of those situations where usually you land the punch on the dude like that, you're automatically in, you know? I guess he's still not the top dog or anything, so it probably doesn't apply for him. We're saving that for that white hair guy that always shows up in the OP and they, they give us a glimpse of last time, huh? This is probably my favorite OP of the season I've seen so far. I haven't watched everything yet, I'm still getting around to certain things, but... So far of the things that I have watched, it's got to be this, I think. <laughs> Embarrassing yourself, bro. Yeah, I figured it would be you. It feels laid back. <laughs> Yeah, he seems like he'd be a little goofy. Alright. <laughs> they have to. They can't just let you guys fight. We gotta save this for another point in the story, you know? <laughs> oh, you obey and listen to him. This is the leader, brother. <laughs> so listen up, buddy. <laughs> I don't know what to say. <laughs> the funny part is, I was gonna say he gives me Gojo vibes, but it's literally Gojo's voice too. So, <laughs> it just it makes sense, right? The guy who is the strongest or claims to be at least, right? But he's all goofy at the same time. Not all there. It's natural. <laughs> right, nobody would do such a thing. Right, alright. <laughs> that is true, he did. It's the most important thing. Oh, 
Cool. We uphold our values no matter what. That's the first and most important rule. <laughs> boys. Turn it off. Turn it off. <laughs> Uh, I mean, a mix of a lot of things, I'd assume. Mm. Would not be happy. I don't, I don't get the vice you'd be too angry though. I think he'd just tell you guys to stop being a little fucking bitches and make it work. <laughs> yeah. yeah. We might fight a little, but we have to we have to be friendly at the end of the day. Mm -hmm. Until you grab it and he flips you. <laughs> mm. You have to face the yeah. Reach out and face the person that are running from him. Or assaulting them. <laughs> nice job, lads. Mm-hmm. They're so welcoming. Good guys. You're no longer alone, brother. <laughs> They're caring for you in the moment. We put on the smile before we put on the the face of coming out and doing that. <laughs> we have to do odd jobs around the city? What is this? Covering up the graffiti. <laughs> Volunteer work, bro. Oh, his voice actor's doing a great job. <laughs> okay, so, yeah, settled. <laughs> I love when people get overly aggressive and roll it like that. Look at that guy's big ass red boots. <laughs> <laughs> Don't you talk about her. <laughs> mm. our, our leader. Okay, he, he had a weird reaction when they came to save her, I remember. And I made a comment on the... <laughs> Spiky ass teeth, bro. One of the four kings, alright. So we got our leader until the four kings, yep. I like how they're blacking them out, but giving them outlines. And then each of them are captains of their own unit, right, right, right. Okay. ゲイ。俺たちは多門州です。ああ。各自仕事人の班を組め。その班に3年また2年のものが1人つく。そいつについて行き、手順、注意事項をよく習え。ほら。とっとと行くぞ。よくです、ガイス。てけぜ。Look <笑> <laughs> Everything gets out. Yeah. yeah, you gotta help people out in the process too. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Mm. We don't be hunting them down. We let them start doing dumb shit and we take care of it. 
The only way to get a thrill. You're gonna hurt yourself. Man, we get rewarded in food. Nice. <laughs> That's our payment. Well worth, if you ask me. He's giving us away, he doesn't like it. Why would he do that? Till he came along. Very rewarding, too. Hmm. You never know who's around. Ah. Right, right. You're disrespecting them. <laughs> Sounds lame as fuck to me. <laughs> He's getting his ass kicked. He's trying to escape from him. Oh. They're just gonna watch him get his fucking ass kicked. <laughs> I see why I don't go through the barrier. Is this like neutral territory though? Under this bridge, we're allowed to do this. <laughs> That's not that's a war declaration. This is not a good thing to do. <laughs> no, he's not strong, right? Different values. It's kind of what you were after. Mm. The leader about second. The boy Joe. <laughs> what happened? <laughs> I like how the guys at the top are always a little absent minded. <laughs> Still slow, you know. Oh, he's a What's up? Yeah. <laughs> Settle down. <laughs> Are you gonna break a fucking glass bottle over him, dude? Mm. You're not one of us. Gotcha. Message sent. <laughs> Mm -hmm. You don't deserve to wear this jacket. I really like his voice actor. No, not at all. <laughs> He stood back up. He wanted to keep going. He tried to fight. Mm -hmm. しゃべるの早すぎ。え、てめえが押せたけだろ。聞こえなすぎて。イライラする。よし、決めた。君はちゃんとした場所で僕を。I'll save it for something else. 顔を覚えたから。Fun meeting. またね、オセロ君。And you got a nickname. 
Although he's wearing the other jacket over his toe. I froze up and y'all were quick to action. <laughs> you gotta tell, you gotta tell the story. Yeah. Yeah. He's not gonna believe it if I do it. This is where we all get to meet him. Or is nobody else gonna be sent in? Yeah. Not when you break the fucking rules, though. <laughs> what a place. What a nice place you got. This is his garden. <laughs> He's fun, that's alright. <laughs> and that is a setup. I think that's a really excellent way of, of kind of doing it. Uh, giving us purpose for main character through episode one, understanding of him a little bit, and then use the next couple episodes to kind of set up some of the other characters that we're going to be involved with, understand them a little bit, uh, also understand like the hierarchy and the way that things kind of go, the people that are going to be falling under, the way that everything's kind of set up, what the people involved with this unit really kind of end up doing, uh, and what the purpose is and how things have changed, how we end up respecting certain people, all that stuff goes along, ultimately to the point that we have a moment uh, of, okay, we don't really fuck around and do this, but we have these newcomers now and they're going to go in and they're going to do something and they're going to uh, immediately jump into action and they're going to go save this kid, uh, even if it means stepping into enemy territory and imposing on the other group, you know, forcing their way through and breaking through that barrier almost, which I think is pretty neat. Uh, we end up getting to see the other group, the introduction of basically our antagonists, or at least our first ones, assuming for the first arc that we're going to really have to go through here, uh, assuming that there will be multiple uh, that end up coming up. And it's a really excellent introduction to see the contrast between the way that the two groups kind of operate, how each of the members kind of are are different in the way that they each fe feel. Uh, almost a similarity in, I think, kind of what Sakura was initially thinking he was getting into uh, with his own group, and now turning into... To realizing like uh you guys are kind of fucking lame actually this isn't like even what i would like and like enjoys his own aspect of like the thing that he's a part of is instead of being a part of this group where they kind of just pick on these um uh people who are like a lot weaker than them and he views that as pretty lame and he's not you know all there for that so so the boy joe clearly ain't for him <laughs> He clearly is not very excited about that, but of course we do have to keep an eye on him. Uh, he keeps an eye on us, and you know, we end up moving forward from there. Uh, what's going to end up happening, the way that everybody's going to kind of react to the situation, declaration of war, essentially, with the two groups at this point, how we're going to end up think bringing things together if we want to like actually go out of our way and fight this, uh, what the lesson is that's going to end up being taught uh, from up above, basically, what they're going to try and do. I I'm really interested. The fight sequence here at the beginning, they do some really fun stuff with the shots, very smeary all around, you know, uh, blurring some stuff as well. Uh, and I think they make all of these like sequences like this just look like really, really cool uh, when they slow it down and do it. And it just, I don't know, it was very enjoyable for the time being. We got a punch in, which I didn't think was actually going to happen. I thought that we were going to square up and get interrupted, uh, which is what I said at the beginning. But instead, we end up seeing Sakura is very capable. This guy who like everybody kind of built up and we have to understand how strong that he is before you know, we even get into this. Like, bro is a literal honorary member. Like, he was already in before he was in. Like, that's... That's how next level he kind of is. Uh, so that's kind of a big deal, uh, figuring out something along those lines. At this point, we end up getting interrupted, though. Uh, we learn a little bit about our leader, or we can just assume a little bit about him. He doesn't really explain anything uh, while he's making this announcement to everybody within the school, but we can make our assumptions, you know, the way that he is. He's pretty laid back. He's pretty kind of airheaded at moments. Uh, we can almost assume he is like that flip the switch kind of person. I can be very serious in the moments that I need to. I'm extremely strong, so I can go out of my way and kind of fuck around if I need to. It doesn't really matter. And life's a lot more enjoyable than just like fighting and doing these things. So, uh, you know, I mean, we get to see at the end, he has his garden and everything. Like, there's a bunch of things that he seems to care about. Uh, the actual friendships and relationships amongst a lot of people, too. Uh, these things are so much more important than uh, it's more fun just to fight and to do all these things. You know, actually caring for the city and the town and the stuff that he's involved in. Uh, we learn a little bit about his relationship with Kotaha and, or we don't, but we're, we can make the assumption 
uh, based on the things that that the spiky teeth guy ended up telling us about how like he actually would have gotten pretty pissed like if you like allowing other people to find out that she was involved in the fights or in the the incident and all that stuff and now i don't know if all this comes down directly to they don't want him to figure out that she was put in harm's way at any given moment or they don't want that to get out to like possible other groups that like she's somebody that they're going out of their way to protect because then she could be used, used as a target or something for us to go after and then we can make some more assumptions just based on like the reaction that we had last time when we ended up like making sure that we had to go out of our way and save her uh that once again the reaction that he had this time when uh sakura almost spilled like that she was involved that she's very important to hajime at the top here so she isn't somebody that we can really like fuck around or bring into these things but why is she important is it a family situation like are they like half siblings type of thing is it a romantic type of interest or relationship thing going on there uh is she just somebody who is just very important to him for a reason that is unrelated to anything like that i don't know but clearly she does hold some sort of importance for him uh i mean it could be as simple as she was like so opening and welcoming uh similar to how she kind of was with like sakura and stuff when he first kind of came involved uh so he kind of goes out of his way to like protect and give everything that he can back to her maybe it's like her dream to see this town and the things that she's probably always lived in and grew up from uh have these things entirely change and he's going out of his way to accomplish that or do something uh so as a result like we don't want to like bring her involved or, or have any like word that she's getting fucking in the like messed up in this process so i don't know but i'm, I'm interested to see i guess where they develop that we're a little caught off guard early sakura is about why everybody is like so just observant like listening into what's happening here and obeying basically everything uh even though that they know this guy can't actually see them why are they being so like respectful almost why are they it's like this this thing that you feel like in the atmosphere that everybody like there's a level of respect given towards this person uh and he seems to not be able to fully comprehend exactly why i mean it seems like it's pretty obvious i mean everybody assumes that he is extremely strong in what he is but he's also too allowing this this entire town to be so different right he's allowing uh things to actually be good around here for once uh and it falls under i guess what a lot of these people actually kind of would want to do and would like to see uh so of course you're going to kind of give respect to the person who initiated all of this and started the change in culture that we're really going to get uh overall for the episode the comedy was better i would say than the the last episode uh as i had like my complaints because nira is kind of annoying with the way that they they do a lot of his stuff uh so i would say it was like on average better this episode but they did so many of these like kind of cutaways to like the the shift in like styles and stuff to try and make like the jokes like hit and do different things like this and like pop in and out and stuff uh and it, it kind of got a little excessive at a certain point that i like i'm not feeling all that aspect too much uh and i'd rather have that toned down a little bit more uh but i guess as an episode that we're building chemistry and stuff between characters you're trying to display it in a way that we have a lot of these these back and forth moments like this uh that are kind of laid back a little bit more and a little bit more fun uh to make you kind of care and enjoy the dynamic between the characters a lot before you have to get into things that might occur to be a little bit more serious down the line uh it's just there's a lot of them this episode and i wasn't feeling all of them too much uh we end up getting or extended hands we do this handshake it's something entirely different from what sakura is kind of used to in this moment uh i mean really anybody i would assume is kind of used to in this moment but they assume that this is what hajime would actually kind of want he wants people to, to be like this you know and it's one of those things like a lot of times people who are really close together sometimes you do fight sometimes it's physical even when it is but at the end of the day if you can use that and not let that kind of just ruin your relationship and you can end up coming closer together and you can become stronger and uh together be better friends at the end of the day uh so it's a thing that kind of bonds you together uh that connection of sharing those moments of actually like trading blows with a person so this is like kind of a big thing but of course we have to we can mess around and have these moments between us but we still have to come to, to terms that we all are fighting on the same page here we are on the same team and we have to respect that and kind of try and get along at the end of the day uh sakura experiencing and seeing all these people be so different than everything of course that he's used to so we're still getting flashes of that of him not being able to fully comprehend why this is all happening uh but it is like you know and just thinking about the moments where everybody kind of goes out of their way and enjoys themselves without him almost leaving him alone uh, i like how he puts on the little smile before he comes up and he like acts like he was kind of annoyed by like what they're doing but he was pretty excited uh overall to have these people involved i love this guy rolling his r so much also just like the the lines for his eye press 
is pretty cool. Uh, we get a breakdown of the hierarchy and the way that those things kind of uh, end up running with our, our groups, with our four kings, and kind of who's assigned to like what and where, uh, which I think is pretty cool. I like the way of giving the outlines uh, to all the characters here. Uh, they all have really cool designs so far, so it makes me very interested. Uh, but I actually really enjoy too, just like blackening out like their face or anything, so you can't see like anything of that, and not also understanding their hair color or anything because we haven't really been introduced. Uh, but still having them kind of involved, and then explaining here basically like who you're assigned to and like how all that stuff kind of goes about, uh, which is pretty cool. A pretty good way of evenly distributing exactly what goes on within the groups. And then from there we hit the streets and we have to kind of patrol instead of just attacking and finding people that are bad we kind of just go around we help out people with whatever they need uh, we make sure that all is good and if something seems a little suspicious we end up taking it upon ourselves to kind of go out of our way and do that uh but we don't really we don't we don't seek the trouble right that's not what we're trying to do but we are here to help uh and keep the streets kind of clean and that's what our patrolling is about here we get rewarded here with the food and everything it's one of those things you don't have fun uh and i think like us being able to make that connection too of like this isn't fun for me either but at the end of the day it's like there is something really rewarding about out, getting that that thank you from somebody else and accomplishing something and knowing that you made somebody else's life like a little bit easier a little bit better it's just their day was a little bit improved uh, because of the things that you did and it's a pretty pleasant feeling for them to kind of have and you can kind of get filled up on that stuff a lot more than physically beating the shit out of somebody and feeling like you stopped something uh well there is that thrill to fighting of course that they want to end up having but you know things happen at the end of the day uh we have the the bridge underneath the train here or the tracks uh which is kind of the separation point between between us and the other town that's kind of close by uh, of this this lion logo that we basically have for this group underneath was also it seemed like considered to be part of theirs i would assume this is like a neutral ground where we can kind of go but we can't just go to either side of it uh but i guess that's also their their territory the moment that you walk within the tunnel uh so we're like all right we can't really go in there until we end up seeing at this moment they are chasing this kid out of here and they're like oh fuck we got to do something we got to protect this kid but it's like no you can't really step in and cross over that boundary but of course we see our first two who are so easy easy to to jump into action and they just want to fight right be able to to fly on through here which is pretty fun this is where they end up teaming up and working together and being so so different and separating themselves from the others uh and striking down upon the enemy chasing after the sky so that they can come to protect not a good thing that's basically like a, a you step on somebody else's turf especially and you hurt somebody uh along the way as one of their own members like that's like a, a war declaration that's basically what you get at uh until we end up meeting a little bit more about them and figuring out about their group a little bit more and the way that they operate which doesn't seem to be that way at all they view this guy he lost he's completely weak they have no use for him uh and he's not a part of them so he's not one of them so they don't even consider it an attack on one of them uh, as a result he views things very different right he beats people who are lower than him something that soccer absolutely hates you know when the strong pick on the weak instead of the strong going after the stronger even the ones that are stronger than them uh so he doesn't really appreciate the way that they're kind of going about this where in this situation they're kind of viewing it as all right the weak are just not one of us so if you are weak and we see that by you getting beat in this moment you, we no longer claim you as one of us so there's no real like harm of them kind of stepping over here besides for the fact that you've made pretty well known who you are and they're going to kind of keep your their their eyes on to you this guy's really cool i love joe's voice actually let me see uh who's voice actor is just because it's so fucking good nothing that i've really seen i'm familiar with a couple of things but nothing i'm too familiar with uh but he did a really great job at kind of selling his character and these are always the scary types you know the ones who <laughs> who are like pretty like slowed like this pretty laid back uh with, with their approach to everything and they're always the ones that are scared because the ones once they snap you know they're absolutely gonna snap uh but it gets me very excited to see what kind of comes out of this next i mean he fucking breaks the bottle over his head and everything too uh we take much of an issue with that he is a little serious at any given moment immediately stepping up and having this conversation with sakura but kind of just fucks around with them having the characters who are like overly serious or you like almost want to take serious because they're so commanding when they're on screen uh just like break for a single second <laughs> and crack a joke is always good uh i also love him just ripping the jacket off and putting it on his back and wearing it like another cape that he has over it uh i think it's really funny but we set up our our group right the next group of people that we're gonna have to go against at some point kind of scares them showcasing the aura and everything that's coming off of this guy uh and then at this point we have to bring the victim here to go explain what happened to the boss because we're not going to be the ones who say that we kind of went into territory and things went bad you know and he's not gonna he might not even be able to believe us who knows but we break into his area while everybody's 
pretty tense and then we realize what the fuck this dude's just out here gardening and <laughs> it's a pretty laid back area what is this uh which i think is pretty funny but i'm very excited to learn a little bit more about him hopefully you guys enjoyed i had a pretty good time with that one uh and i'm excited to get into a little bit more learn a little bit more about what our approach is going to be in this situation see if the others kind of set off some sort of attack or try and do anything or if it's going to be on us just to kind of hold back and wait i mean we set up the whole like we're not picking like we're not actively finding these fights and doing these things uh so it would make you think like we're gonna kind of just sit around and see if they end up going out of their way and doing anything but who knows uh and I'm, I'm just excited to see the approach that i guess we end up taking as we kick into full gear now uh going forward as we have a lot of our introductions and stuff kind of out of the way which we're definitely going to still get more because there's still stuff about characters and stuff that hasn't been introduced and, and talked about too much uh but a lot of like the initial stages of like what we have to do to set up this this world and the way that things are going to kind of operate uh with with our following sakura in the situation makes plenty of sense now uh and we can definitely push forward and it's a good breaking point for us to be at here likely what i'd assume to be chapter end or probably volume end uh to leave you excited to see what's to come next so hopefully you guys enjoyed if you liked it all hit the like and subscribe if not to me feel free to check out the other channel let me comments with this episode or this series i will be back for episode four next week i hope you guys have a great one peace